So, Disturbed has a new album coming out called Evolution, and uh, they've released a single off this album, which is the first song, I believe, called Are You Ready? Now, Disturbed have um, gone out and said that this album is um, very diverse and different to uh, their other workings. It's um, new, it's unique, it's different, it's varied, and they're taking a risk with it because it is so diverse and different to what they have previously done. Now, um, my history with Disturbed, um, and then Stanford was uh, like the first um, proper metal band I ever got into. And before that it was Green Day, and before that I never really got into a band personally myself. I just liked what my dad liked, which was Maiden. And I do like Maiden, but uh, that was um, him, not me finding my own way. So Disturbed are technically my second ever find. And I heard them with uh, the single... Um, oh, it's off the 10,000 Fist album, it's uh, that um, cover one they did. And... Um, I thought it was good and I liked it. I went and got the album um, and I got uh, multiple albums. I had um, the uh, Prayer album, I had the uh, 10,000 Fist album and I had the Down With The Sickness album. Down With The Sickness album was absolutely dreadful, absolutely terrible. It was a lot of -ah 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 -ah, trying to be a monkey um, because uh, musically monkeys um, are great singers and ah uh, ah. Uh, the sound of choking on a dick, because uh, that is a great sound, and David likes to be seen as choking on dicks. So, um, to each their own. Um, I personally don't like the sound of people choking on penises, and I do not like uh, the sound of monkeys going, oh, wah! I think it's rather stupid and childish and silly. Um, and I'm, I'm 25, I'm not a child anymore, so... Um, and the rest of the album was uh, very kind of techno in ways. There was a lot of um, like computerized sounds in it, which were kind of rubbish. Um, he sung um, in a fast pace at times, and then in other times it was kind of talking. So it was kind of rapish in a way as well. And I don't like rap, and I don't like talking so very quickly, it makes no sense. And again, the monkey sounds and the choking on dicks, and then techno sounds. It all sucks. The Prayer album, um, he went to actually sing him properly. There was still a lot of monkey and dick sucking. Um, but um, because the sound kind of opened up a bit more and became more musical at times, and um, he did actually proper sing at other times, um, it was a much better album. And it was a much more melodic album, like some songs were still the kind of typical um, stuff, but uh, other songs uh, it was a lot more open and uh, musical. 10,000 Fist um, was uh, more consistently heavy in sound, um, still kind of open, um, a bit of fast singing at times and a bit of uh, singing. Indestructible, which is probably my uh, favourite album by them. Um, it was heavy, but they really opened the sound up. Um, there was guitar solos, um, more present. Um, they may have been present before, but uh, Indestructible definitely had them um, more in the uh, foreground instead of just kind of in the background every now and then. Um, and, yeah, um, so there's more solos. Uh, the sound was a lot more open. It was a lot more musical. Uh, David's voice in that uh, was um, way more varied and actually proper singing instead of just doing a stupid style and silly sounds. Asylum uh, just seemed to have been the same old thing, nothing special, therefore didn't really get into it, um, downloaded it, kind of listened to it, I was like, doesn't seem to be anything new here, so didn't bother. Um, then they went on the Hatius and then came back with um, the newest album, which... Um, Again, they said they separated for so long because they didn't have any new unique ideas, so um, it was supposed to be new and unique. And for the most part, it uh, was not new and unique. It was Disturbed doing the exact same singing style and the exact same style of playing. The guitar solos then went backwards and uh, became way more lazy and um, less present. Um, the most famous song off the album was The Sound of Silence, and it got a lot of praise. 
I kind of dislike them even more because of that reason. Um, they were saying it's a great band and they're great musicians. They've basically just copied the sound and style of what was already there. The guitars and the singing and the melody and the catchiness and everything that makes the sound of sounds great, the stuff just copied it. There's no new kind of singing challenge and kind of come up with the idea. They didn't have to come up with the idea. It was all there. They just had to play it. And because David can sound good when he sings and everything, and the overall sound was good, like Sound of Silence is a famous song, clearly everything's going to work. The sound is already good, David has a good voice, therefore it's going to be good. So people just give him absolute praise and it did amazing. And that was a lot of new people's um, vision of Disturbed. So people who have never heard, they came and saw that and then said this is what they're like. No, it isn't. They write their own songs. And were any of them um, as big as that? No. All the songs they did, all the songs they wrote, never came to any type of fame and achieved nothing. The song that was done before was the one that uh, got fame. And then the people who listened to that didn't even bother listening to the rest of Disturbed. And it didn't then, because of the increase of new fandom, and bring Disturbed songs to life with more people listening. It didn't even do that. It did nothing for the actual Disturbed written songs. Probably because they are pretty bland and there is not much to it. Now, with um, this album again, um, Evolution, that uh, they're going to be releasing at some point, Disturbed have gone on record to say this is extremely diverse, um, very different, very unique, and um, they're taking a risk with this one because it is so different and so unique and unlike anything they've done before that it can be risky because people may not accept it. So, what is the song Are You Ready like? Is it different? Is it unique? Is it a complete change of style for Disturbed? Is it completely new and nothing like Disturbed in the slightest? Well, no. It's exactly the same. There is nothing new. Um, the start of the song, um, he just keeps repeating, Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Which is um, very kind of pop ish because um pop singers uh, do repeat the same thing over and over and over again so then it's uh rememberable and easy to sing along to for uh, the pop fans so this is what uh, disturbed are doing uh, doing the pop um style of um repeating the same thing over and over and over again for simplicity and catchiness and nothing else to it and it's very lazy lyric writing if you can't come up with anything else so off the bat they had no idea what to do so um very lazy um, there is a R uh, uh, in there, so an uh, 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 O, which um, has no need to be there. Um, it's basically just a signature of stupidness, but uh, because it's a signature, they keep it in there. They should grow up and move on from it, but uh, there you go. And then when you actually get into the verse, um, all the instrumentation is extremely lazy. It's uh, basic chords and uh, probably power chords. There's nothing um, cool or intriguing. Everything's simplistic. The drums are slow, bland and simple. The singing, although um, it's all catchy and um, pleasing to the ears, it's the singing style of David. Are you ready now? Dun, 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 dun. And then he kind of speeds it up, but then it's like all the flowing, and he does that head bobbing kind of thing when he does it. And then when he goes back, he does a head shake. And that's the same thing. It's, are you ready now? And then he goes quickly and shakes his head. It's just the same thing again. The same singing style with the same pattern to it, and the same tone... Everything is the same. In singing, there's so many tones, pitches, styles, speeds, tempo. There is so much. And he just does one thing over and over and over and over again and doesn't even change speeds and pitches or anything. Over the course of the history of Disturbed, 
he has changed, but it's so subtly that it, it's barely a handful of things he does. This is like, it has been done before, you have heard it before, and musically there is nothing there. Um, the chorus there, there's a lot of repeating of, are you ready again? Um, with their singing from David, which um, usually in the chorus he opens it up, uh, which he uh, does again, as per usual. And then he usually does um, the kind of high holding notes at the end. Are you ready to go? Which is typical of the end of a lot of choruses of Disturbed. So he again copies how that ends. Then he goes back into the verse. There is a solo which um, can't even be called a solo. It's an insult to the name of solos. Because he just repeats the same thing over again in the music video. It's like, yeah, look at this. Down, down, down. Down, 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 yeah. Previously, his solos haven't been that intense. He's not a miraculous guitarist. He's nothing special in the slightest. But on Indestructible and um, the song Stricken off of 10,000 Fists, the solos, because they're not anything technical, he kind of, it's a bit more thoughtful. So, although it's very simplistic what he's doing, he really does think about it to make it sound good. This, he repeats everything. It's about three, four picks of something very slowly, and then he just keeps repeating that for a fair few seconds. And then at the end, um, he does a bit of a whittle, but obviously he's nothing fast. It's just then and then and then and then and then. So it's not it's then and then and then and that's it. And he's like, I'm a guitar god. And he really looks like he's putting all of his into it. He's like, yeah, but I'm just looking at him like, what a complete crap guitarist, what a dick. And then Dave is there doing all of his, you know, that and the, like that. You know, like a girl when they're trying to get the hair out of their head and like that. It's a David style and then the kind of head bobbing and then all the dick sucking um, sounds he likes. Um... Yeah, that's basically the song. It's the exact same singing styles as before. The choruses are done exactly the same way. And um, guitars, it's just um, chords and power chords. Nothing to it. The drums are very slow and very bland. And uh, any kind of starter uh, drummer um, who learns the basics can basically do it. Um, solo, there is nothing to it. Any basic guitarist can basically do the solo. And um, it's basically like everything they've done before. There is a difference. Um, I won't lie. Um, there is a difference. And because Disturbed has been so similar, um, it really is refreshing just to get a slight difference. Because Disturbed have been criticised by people who aren't fans of them for being extremely repetitive and being always the same sound. Their fans always like them and just kiss their behinds, but people who actually do kind of judge them and people who are into them still will say, they are very similar. I just I just like the sound, so I'm okay with it. But um, a lot of people who uh, are fans um, do say it is all very repetitive and they aren't very diverse. And then people who don't like them say they're very um, similar and not at all diverse. So um, just getting a bit of a change um, from the band is like, this is great. Because even though it's all similar, there's an undertow to it, which is d new and different. And it's um, just nice to hear from them. So, um, yeah, there's a sound which is kind of um, electronic. And um, again, their first album was electronic, but it was so heavy and everything that um, it kind of sucked. And um, the electronic in this is... Um, not extremely present and it kind of goes with the music it's not its own thing it kind of flows with the music and it's not incredibly upfront about it it's quite mellow you can tell it's there and it flows with the rest of uh, the band uh, very nicely and it really um, fits well so it's basically the first time it is being done where it actually kind of fits and it works and it flows naturally so it's like another kind of instrument uh, being brought in um, to Disturbed and has a naturally 
natural flow and um, flow to the band and it really kind of works well if um, with where the sound is disturbed. So um, if I got a whole new sound um, to disturb, just adding this uh, one thing and then flowing, but because the sound is still basically exactly the same and the singer style is basically exactly the same, you can't say this is new and diverse. They've just added, um, you know, and it's not an instrument, it's basically going on the computer and then putting in a sound. So, it's not new, it's not diverse, it's not thoughtful, it's not showing great musicianship by doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again and people keep sucking it up, therefore they keep doing it and getting fame. So, if they seriously think this is diverse and brand new and extremely unique and different to anything that's been done before, which is a lot of crap, and um, they're risking a lot because it's so different their fans may have a difficult time accepting it, um, they're either incredibly thick, because they do think that, then they are definitely proven they are bad musicians. They have no idea about anything um, when it comes to music. They have no idea of what is new and diverse, in that they think the same thing is always new. Therefore, they have nothing new to offer, clearly, because they keep thinking the same thing is new. Or they're just complete and utter liars that won't do anything new because people accept it. So it could be just the lazy way of we'll just keep doing the same thing, we won't go in and actually think and try because we do very well um, without it and we keep getting our money in the end so let's not waste time, let's just go in, do it, get paid a lot of money and then get back home to our families and just take a break. That could be the case or well, they actually do try and try and come up with something new but keep failing because they've basically done everything they know. They went out, did the one thing, and then they've kind of just done slight variants on the same thing. But never actually doing something different. It's basically, we have a singing style like this. We'll keep doing some different things to it, but we'll constantly have that singing style with the exact same way and um, do the changes in the exact same places that the um, things that have come before. And guitar wise we'll just never do anything new and unique. Um, they did kind of bring the guitars in but then they took basically been taken that out. Um, it's been less in the songs where you get no solos when it used to be most solos. Indestructible I don't know if it was every single song there was a solo. And then the solos have become more lazy as well so um, yeah uh, are You Ready is um, very simplistic, it's catchy, it is pleasing, this is why Disturbed have been so good, because the sound was good. It was um, great vocals from David, it was um, very um, easy to get into, the choruses were um, big and catchy. So Disturbed Are You Ready is catchy. It is rememberable. It's very easy to sing along to, and you want to sing along to it because it sounds good. But um, the lasting appeal of this is not going to be big, in the slightest. I've listened to this um, three times, but um, music gives me nothing. It's just kind of something nice and catchy to kind of have in the background, but for something... Um, to kind of um, fuel my um, taste for um, great uh, musicianship. This gives nothing because there's no great musicianship in this at all um, in the slightest. Because um, um, anyone can play the guitar stuff on this. Um, you know, um, oh, what's the name of the Death Skater Boy? Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne could probably play the solo on this and the uh, verses and choruses. Um, Billy Joe Armstrong um, could do this um, from Green Day. It's very easy and simplistic. There's nothing to it. So, yeah, reviewing this. Um, if it was, if you're a newcomer to Disturbed and you've heard nothing about 
them, then it's an eight. It's a great track. Um, because musically it is really good, and um, the singing is great, and um, the style of uh, his singing is uh, kind of new and unique. So that's great. Um, it's very catchy. You really want to sing along to it. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So eight or even or seven point five, probably seven point five because um obviously all the guitar work and the solos are lacking. So it's a it's a good song, um nearly a very good song. And um, but if you've heard Disturbed before and everything, then this is probably going to be a four below average. Because it's exactly the same. They never do anything new. Um, vocal wise, there is nothing new. It's very, very boring if you've heard it before. And the instruments are very bad. Um, the solo is appalling and everything. Um, the musicians themselves say this is new, unique, different. They're liars. And if they actually believe it, they are absolutely terrible musicians. And they should pack it up because clearly there is nothing to them. They need to actually go out and actually have music lessons because there is more to it or they actually need to listen to something because the fact is they must listen to other bands and they still can't come up with anything. They must be brain dead. So four, this is below average. But if you're a newcomer, this is a 7.5, at push maybe an 8 because it is very good if you've heard nothing from them before. But if you have, this is very bad. So that is it from me. If you've been a fan of the dub, this is very lazy, very boring. The way they've said it, the musicians are awful musically as well in this. Um, there's nothing different singing-wise and musicianship. It's very bland, nothing to it. It's always sucks. So definitely below average for the dub fans. And people who know about disturbs, this is a four. And I'm guessing when the album comes out, because people will say, well, it is just the one song and everything, so maybe the other songs will be very diverse. Disturbs have constantly been saying their sounds are different. Um, the la album before this, they said um, they've come back because now they've got all these new ideas and everything. Nothing was new, everything was very similar. There was nothing new about it. Asylum completely the same, indestructible, nothing really new about it. Well, it was the most newest, that's why it's my favourite, because it's the most open and the most vocally singing style of Dave instead of the kind of stuff he's done before. The solos were definitely the most present in that album, I think. Um, so it was subtly all kind of changing, but then they kind of just went backwards and they just gone backwards and then they just stripped everything. Indestructible is not very different, it's just everything just took it up a notch at the same time instead of just things kind of like we'll move this and that maybe too much we'll just do that. Indestructible is like okay let's all try something new. They didn't get far with it but at least everything was sort of new. But are you ready? It's exactly disturbed. The disturbed singing style, the disturbed sound, um, same tone, lazy playing, um, very lazy intro, the dicks, dicks sucking, it's absolutely terrible. And why disturbed is so famous and people aren't kind of catching on that disturbed have no ideas and musically they are really dumb and stupid. I don't know why they're as big as they are because. Seriously, um, they shouldn't be big in the slightest. Disturbed are basically like Nickelback. Um, very, very uh, lazy. Always exactly the same. Extremely repetitive. Have no new ideas. There's nothing musically advanced about it. It's just um, Nickelback. It's just a different sound, but everything Nickelback is is just Disturbed. Same with Breaking Benjamin. Um, always exactly the same stuff, yet they're big. Disturbed are for them people who just like extremely basic and the minds can't cope with something bigger than this. 
very simplistic, very repetitive, easy to get into, and it's catchy. And people eat it up. But for people who actually want something talented and want something bigger and grander, Disturbed are nowhere close. You can't even just put them in the bottom of the category. They come nowhere near it. It's very lazy and basically done in the pop way. It follows the pop formula to a T. So that is my review of Disturbed's new song, Are You Ready? Which apparently is extremely diverse to absolutely everything on the planet. <laughs> Morons. So, um, yeah, if uh, you uh, like, um, leave a like. If you dislike, um, by all means, uh, give me a dislike. I'm open to that. Um, but I would appreciate if you leave a comment to say uh, the reason uh, why, instead of just leaving me a dislike and then I have no idea what the problem is. Because if I know the problem, I can work on it in the future. Um, if you want to see more from me and actually kind of like um, how in-depth I go and uh, my truthful nature, and not holding back and um, subscribe because I am uh, like that and then um, I would like the support so then I can keep carrying this on and keep uh, going and um, yeah I believe that's it if you want to leave a comment I do um, reply all the time and I have discussions on all sorts of things um, so uh, yeah that is it um, so until next time I hope to see you guys later bye